Eyes open. Enemy oh, heavy. Enemy heavy. Greetings, fellow Araxians and gamers. Vanu Gamer 2002 here. Thanks for clicking on my video. I'll be your guide on becoming the best in Planetside 2 by using the knowledge I'm about to impart on you. To begin, I'm going to be showing you the graphic settings that I utilize to give me a competitive advantage over other Planet Mans. To start, I play on 1280 by 960 windowed. This gives me increased chances of victory over my opponents. My graphics options are uh, my graphics options are as follows: overall quality custom. Graphics quality low, texture quality ultra, lightning quality high, shadow quality off, effects quality low, terrain quality high, flora quality low, model quality to medium, particle quality low, and I have edge anti-aliasing enabled, no water reflections, no object reflections, I have wide viewed mode on and smoothing on. You can customize the settings whichever way you want. However, my settings are optimized to give me the best possible frame rate, as fire rate in this game is heavily affected by it. The lower the frame rate, the slower your gun will fire. It's a weird quirk that I don't quite understand. It's also beneficial to have a high frame rate just so you can enjoy large-scale battles without dipping into single-digit frames and becoming a PowerPoint presentation. Now that we're done with our graphic settings, let's move on to faction selection and class selection. To begin, create or select your Vanu character and hit play. To be the best at the game, I would select Heavy Assault. That's the best class, and no one can convince me otherwise. For our primary weapon, select the Orion. It's the stock LMG that Vanu starts with. It's the best, trust me. I've played 27 hours, 31 minutes, and 40 seconds on Vanu. I know what I'm talking about. Equip a reflex sight on it. I recommend one times. If you want to, you can go two times. Personally, one times works best for me. Equip a Flash Suppressor, and slap a forward grip on it. For ability, equip Adrenaline Shield. For each kill that you get, you get a little bit of that suit energy back, so you can keep your overshield up for longer. For utility, I would equip the Med Kit. So if your shield pops, and you take health damage but still win the fight, you could heal yourself without having to need a medic nearby. For implants, I would equip Battle Hardened. And then for my second implant, I would get either Assimilate or Survivalist. These implants will give you an advantage over your enemies, and it'll just straight up help you win those 1v1s or 1v multiples. As they say, practice makes perfect, so why not practice in VR training? It's a great way to warm up, and it helps you get better with aim drills. When using the Orion, always aim for the head unless it's not visible. You want to get comfortable using the Orion at any range. Once you do this, you'll be among the best. I practiced in VR training for probably an hour in total throughout the entire year. So, it's great to get some of that practice in and just hone your skills. A lesser known tip for Planet Mans out there is equipping camo that'll give you an advantage. Now, the camo that gives you the best advantage, no matter what terrain you're in, or if you're in a facility, or if you're outside, what continent, doesn't matter. Everyone agrees that universally, the pink camo, specifically solid pink camo, is the best camouflage in the game. Not only will it give you a definite advantage in a firefight by giving everyone eye strain just by looking at you, but there's also the intimidation factor of it. So if you have the pink camo, equip it. No other camo matters. One of the best ways to get better at the game is to just play the game. So what better way to do that than to join combat by hitting the J key on your keyboard? Now, sometimes you might get dropped into a fight that's really not to your advantage or you're outnumbered, but that's fine because sometimes those are the best learning experiences. <laughs> Going after actual players rather than stationary bots and VR training is the best way to get better at this game. Fight harder. A lot of fights are determined whether or not you shot first. In this case, this guy shot me first, but he didn't get the drop on me, so I was able to reverse it on him and kill him. Now, my shields popped and I took a little bit of health damage, so you just want to run away, quickly pop a medkit, wait for your shields to go back up, and then re-engage. Oh, 
Sometimes you lose a fight, but don't despair. See, sometimes losing is the best way to learn a lesson. So in this case, I really should have gone back into cover, waited for my shields to go back up, and popped the medkit. But I didn't, and that cost me. A great way to get better at the game is to actually just join a squad. See, this person invited me to join their squad, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Hi, Singularity Guard. Hello, hello. I'll take a Valkyrie for us and take us to Zero and Pump Station. Fall inside. Sure thing. Wait, we're losing gravel pass already. Let's fix that problem. You can spawn the Valkyrie and Alright, I think I killed the Vanguard driver and gunner. Up to one point. Oh, nice. We ranked up to battle rank 25. Took me a while. I know he's with you. Do not fall to you. There we go. Try to see if he's got any buddies on point. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. There's one brother right there. Oh, crap. I didn't retreat fast enough to uh, heal myself. Big mistake. Your shields pop and you take some health damage, immediately retreat. But I'm getting revived by a teammate, which is absolutely fortunate for us. You just want to throw grenades randomly because for some reason you just kill people really easily that way. It's really unfortunate that Infiltrator got lit up, but that's fine. We take that to our advantage. Oh. Oh, that's really unfortunate. There's a lot of people. Uh, there's about six or seven NC dudes running up on point now. A lot of them. They must have uh, uh, a on the router on the reef to the west of the point. Maybe. I wonder if they have a Sunderer. Tip number six, always check your radar slash minimap. See, I turned around just in time because that guy showed up on my radar for just a split second and I knew that there was going to be an enemy right behind me. And I killed him! Okay, there was a lot more NC inside this building than I thought, but don't worry, don't despair. I pulled out my pistol because it's faster than reloading your primary, but even then, his buddy still got me, but hey, we still got some kills. Although we lost that facility, we still did pretty good. We, st we ended up with 17 kills and ended up with a 2.5 KD, so overall, that was pretty good. Going through... Nice. Hey, messed up. Time to destroy this. I'm going to stay inside the point building. I suggest uh, you do two singularity. The 
There's a lot of salt on the roof. Nice, we've done it. We've acquired the facilities. Yeah, they had us capped out because it couldn't make it. Let's find the Well, let's try to save grab. GG guys, that was a very good alert. Yep. GG. See you next time. Peace out, gentlemen. Alright, see you. As you can see, if you follow these tips, you'll get a pretty good KD at the end of the day.